Hello, my name's Frank. What's up? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Hello, hi, how are we doing? Today, hope you're all doing all right in these horrible times. Um, I've realized that I haven't actually said this in the last couple of videos, but in my description box, I know I've literally only got like 100 subscribers. I love you all, I love you all. Thank you so much for subscribing, it means so much. Um, in my description box, I am putting helplines in case anyone is struggling during these times. But if you're new here, hi, my name's Charlotte. Please stick around, it means a lot to me. Please click that subscribe button and go and follow my Instagram and my TikTok, which are both Charlotte Whiting Makeup. So today I am showing you how to remove a prosthetic off of the rubber head and how to apply it onto the face. Um, I've just posted a video, obviously if this is posted, the other video is already posted. I filmed a video on how I made these prosthetics um, so this is kind of a follow-up on how I'm going to put them on and how I'm going to remove them off of the rubber head. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of probably going to be concentrating, so it's probably going to be voice over me. So I'll see you as voice over me. Okie dokie, so when it comes to taking off your prosthetic, you want to use a spatula like I have, some translucent powder, a big fluffy brush, and just start sort of poking at it, um, using scissors to cut, and putting the translucent powder underneath, just to help it come off. It should be sturdy enough to come off pretty easily. Okay, so these videos are sped up, um, but you do want to kind of be slow and steady with this, take your time, um... You know, using your scissors, using your spatula, going underneath it slowly, and using the translucent powder. Okie dokie, so I've already sticked down my brow and popped my contact in, uh, just because it's easier to do it off camera. So it's now time to apply the prosthetic. Um, this is the only time, really, in makeup, I will tell you, um, do not do any skincare before. Literally just wash your face with water because you want you don't want your skin to be sticky or have any much moisture in it. Um, because then your products will step down in with some liquid latex and popping that over the area of where we're going to pop our prosthetic. <music> kind of going a bit bigger out from where the prosthetic will be just to help it blend. So you want your liquid latex to be sort of not dry, but not wet either, just sort of tacky for when you apply your prosthetic. And then doing the same with the mouth prosthetic. And popping this on. to talk now to put a layer over your prosthetic all right that's the prosthetic on i'm now going to go ahead and let this dry and finish off this look and i'll be back to show you the final result Okay, so I've just finished it all. I can't talk very easily, sorry about that. Um, I don't love it. I don't hate it. I feel like it's not very zombie-like. Um, but it's okay, I like having fun playing with the prosthetics. I think the prosthetics came out really well. Just this bit buggered up, but I'm bored of it now. Um, so yeah, this is the final look. I'm very happy with how the prosthetics come out. Just not happy with the final look. But it's okay, that always ha that happens. Ugh. So thanks so much for watching guys, I really hope you enjoyed, make sure to subscribe and stick around, um, go for my Instagram and my TikTok, and yeah, bye guys, thank you!